Good Tuesday morning. Well, the price we'll have to pay for the cooler fall like weather coming into the forecast is the rain that's going to move in as well. In fact, so much rain that we have a flood watch for areas like Lima and points off to the north. I know it's hard to think about flooding when the grass is brown. The rivers and the streams are running very low compared to normal, but with so much rain falling over about a 24 hour period tonight and Wednesday, you still could get some runoff from the dry ground and certainly enough rain that we could see at least some minor lowland flooding. Of course, if you live in a poor drainage area, just keep that in mind. A good time to make sure your sump pump uh, is in working order before that rain does start to work in tonight. So just keep that in mind. We are, we are looking at a mostly dry morning. So again, today is not a washout. We'll have a lot of dry time this morning, even in the parts of the afternoon. But we will see that chance of rain start to pick up, though, this afternoon with scattered showers and some thunderstorms. And then that rain becomes very likely this evening, tonight, all the way through Wednesday, even through Wednesday night. This system is going to take its sweet time to move through which does mean we are going to see those rain totals start to add up. But this morning, just a couple sprinkles possible for your morning drive. And overall, we are mainly quiet. You notice just a couple sprinkles showing up on the radar, moving from southwest to northeast. But again, overall, I think we'll see a lot of dry hours throughout the course of the morning. A slightly better chance of rain this afternoon as that front does start to approach the area. You notice that front to our west from Chicago down towards St. Louis, heavier rain along it. Now that front is going to slow down as it starts to work further east. There's a big high pressure over the east coast. So that's going to kind of act like a wall and keep that front from being able to fully move east. And as it does start to stall out, we will see more to wave rain as we head into tonight and tomorrow. And again, that rain just is going to take its time to move through. So you notice as we get towards the evening hours, that rain is increasing from our area and points off to the west. As we head into tonight, that rain will continue to become more widespread across the area. A few, sh a few thunderstorms in the mix as well. And then tomorrow we actually see a new system develop along this front. So this low pressure system will provide us uh, with breezy winds, more rain showers, and even on Thursday, as that low does start to lift north, we'll get a breezy northwest wind. Still the chance of rain Thursday morning before things start to exit heading into Thursday afternoon. So looking at your skycast here, you notice as we go throughout the morning, mostly dry today. Even a few peaks of sunshine possible as well. Now as we go into the afternoon, by 2 o'clock, some scattered showers are possible. So still have that rain gear with you today. And then rain becomes a little more numerous by 6 o'clock and onward, especially to the west of Lima. This evening is where we'll see more in the way of that heavier rain. And then overnight tonight through tomorrow, we see that rain become widespread. As far as rainfall amounts, we still still look at a widespread two to three inches locally. More than three inches is possible. So today, 78 degrees, peaks of sunshine will call for some scattered afternoon thunderstorms, showers and storms widespread tonight, heavy at times and the temperature. That is the other big story tomorrow. 50s for your high temperature. So uh, a little bit of an adjustment there. We're not used to these kind of temperatures. 60 on Thursday, 72 with sunny skies on Friday. So at least there is a light at the end of the tunnel. We just have to get through tomorrow, a rainy day, but then we'll look forward to nice weather for the end of the work week.